Hey y'all, welcome back. So we did some um, more rummage sales yesterday. I was going to try and get a video up yesterday, but y'all, we were out there for about six or seven hours and it was just exhausting. But I'm so super excited to show you, especially some clothing pieces we picked up. I'm also going to show you one or two pieces of some things that we picked up a couple days ago. Um, and I just, I kind of took you on the road with this a little bit this time. I'm trying to add a little bit different feed, a little bit more feed for the videos to make it, excuse me, fun and engaging for y'all. So I'm working on just really improving and bettering these videos. Um, if there are things that you like about these videos or things that you don't like, please feel free to share in the comments below. If you like seeing us on the road, um, if you prefer unboxings, if you like seeing the thrift hauls, all this great stuff. I, I think we've got some really, really great pieces. I'm super excited about some of the brands that we found. Um, we did pick up some hard goods, but I also got some really great clothing pieces. If that is of interest to you, please stay tuned for this haul, and uh, we'll see you there. Guys, welcome back. If you are new here, I am so glad you are joining us. If you aren't new here and you've been watching our videos for a while, um, whether you've subscribed or not, thank you so much for your support. If you haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to do so. We do 90-day updates on our unboxings. We do thrift hauls. We do unboxings with a variety of different companies. Um, so we do a lot of really great content about reselling. I'm also going to be doing some other videos about reselling. We do tips and tricks. We do updates on what we're doing with our stores. All that kind of great stuff. And so if that is a blessing to you and you want to know when those videos are coming, please do subscribe to the channel so you know when we have a new video uploaded. I've also dove into doing shorts. I've already got one short up. I'm going to be doing another one. And so stay tuned for that because that's going to be in the next day or two. Um, let's get to this haul. I'm going to show you a couple pieces down here really quick because they're kind of a little bit bigger. Now, y'all, we have been selling jewelry boxes. You know I sell jewelry, but we've also found some really beautiful jewelry box pieces when we've been out sourcing, whether it's the Goodwill store or these rummage sales. And we actually sold one exactly like this, but smaller, not long ago on our platform. It was in one of our good uh, uh, garage sale halls a few months ago. Um, this, the one that we sold was smaller than this, and it was $4. This one's bigger, and we paid $3. All it needs is a little bit of a cleanup. It's really cute, and it has, obviously, the double layer to it. So we grabbed this because we've been doing well with jewelry boxes, and we thought, shoot, why not grab another one because they do sell for us. Um, and then let me show you. I apologize. I'm out of the shot. This one is a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier. I couldn't believe we found this. Um, this is not antique or vintage. It's a newer piece, but it's got this beautiful um, floral detail on the front with pull-out drawers, and it's got the inside, I'm trying to keep this from falling out, that has um, beautiful inside here, um, and she only wanted $5 for this. So we grabbed it, we're thinking probably $25.30 for this box. It's a nice piece, so we grabbed that. And then we found these. These are a set of two candle holders. They're crystal. These are new, never been used in the box. Um, she wanted 10 for this. Dan talked her down to 750. We found one that was used, comped out at 20. Um, so we're thinking 35 for two of them, new in box. Again, we paid 750 for these. Paid up a little bit for that, but not too much. Okay. You all know that we did a haul um, a couple months ago where we purchased some silver um, uh, uh, silverware. Dan found some more at a home uh, sale. And so they, uh, we've already sold like two sets, two or three sets of them. And the first set that we sold completely paid for the box that we purchased. We got some more. These are $3. So we got that. And then here's um, some more here for $2. I'm not sure what's in here, but we paid $2 for the whole thing. There's stuff in the box plus this one. And then he paid $0.50 cents for these. So he's going to get those cleaned up and get those going. Um, we have this. Um, this was a church rummage sale. He paid $0.50 cents for this. I don't know what it will sell for. I would imagine maybe like $8 or $9 or $10 or something like that. But he paid $0.50 cents for that. 
Um, we are still been keeping an eye out for Christmas stuff. And we did find this Christmas piece, um, again at a church rummage sale. It says, Merry Christmas this is in great condition. We paid a dollar for it. It's kind of like a place where you can just either put a candle or maybe even some candies on a table or something like that. So we grabbed that. Probably put that up for around $15. If I can find comps, I will definitely note comps of items next to here. So if you see comps, that is what those are. And then we got two of these, each 50 cents. Again, probably like candy dish trays for the holidays coming up. Really pretty red color. And then this, again, 50 cents. Um, I'm not sure what he caught those out at, but he grabbed those. And then um, one of the last hard goods, this again was at the, uh, the church rummage sale that we found. This was a dollar. It's a kitty cat bookend. So, so cute. I'm expecting maybe $15 for this, but oh my goodness. He is just, I mean, I couldn't pass them up. And they are ceramic, so they're heavy duty and nice and just really, really sweet piece. So we will get those up. Again, I'm thinking probably $15, maybe $20, depending on what the comps call for. So there is that. In fact, I'm actually going to put this down here. Because I am a little bit concerned about bumping and possibly breaking something here that Dan is working on. So we're going to do that. Okay, one more hard goods and then I think it's just clothing. We also found these at a home, um, home store. Now we picked up a few of these and they're each different. He paid $5 for these. These are hand painted. He said they were going for between $15 to $20 a piece. And they're little boxes. Um, it says hand painted, handcrafted in Russia. So he grabbed um, a few of these. So very pretty. And again, each one has a different picture. So he got those. Okay, let's move on to clothes. Very excited about what I found. Y'all know that I have a hard time finding the nicer brands in the thrift stores here locally, which is fine. So when I get them, whether it's in a box or at rummage sales, it just excites me. This is not a fancy brand, but I'm going to get to these because it's quick and easy and then we'll get to the clothes. This is Bow Boxer, and I have never heard of these shoes before. These are men's shoes. Um, these are a size 42. And I, again, I, I'm still trying to memorize the European sizes. Let me see if maybe they have it. Oop, I'm going to lose my pile here. Um, let me see if maybe they have it. Um, in here, the actual size, I don't know if they will. No, I don't see it, but it's kind of hard. Anyway, these were comping, um, sold between 30 to 35. I paid five for these and they're actually still in pretty good condition, very minor wear. So clean those up and get those up and going. Okay. I found, I've been getting more squirts. I've really been enjoying wearing squirts this year and I have sold some squirts. I picked these two squirts up for $1. This was the Izod. I don't typically pick up Izod, but I figured it's in really, really great condition. Um, I don't know if this has even been worn. If it, if it has been worn, it's got very light wear. It's got the hook, closure, zipper, and the print is kind of fun and cool. Again, it is a squirt. I paid a dollar for this. So I'm going to put this up for probably $15 and see what it does. When you're only paying a dollar for something, even if it's a brand that's not really popular, if it's something like a squirt or another piece like that, that you know, hey, maybe this will definitely get eyes, then I definitely grab it. Okay, this piece here was Greg Norman. These were comping sold at like 20 25 Again, another squirt. It's got a side zipper to it. I paid a dollar for this, the same rack as the other one. Kind of a fun, cool print also. So, for those who still have kind of the warmer weather that hangs out, there's those. Okay, I found this, and I do believe I paid $4. I paid $4 for this. Let me try and show you. I'm going to back up a little bit. This is a two-piece set. Let me show you this part. This is by um, Lorraine, and I found a two-piece set, Nike Yon, um, sold for like um, $35. It's in good condition. I double checked it, triple checked it. It's got this beautiful floral on it. And then it has a robe. It's a two piece that goes with it. 
Again, great shape. Same floral detail on the front. Just very pretty with the lace. Again, I paid $4 for this. I'm gonna list this for probably around $35 for the two pieces. Um, I'll double check comps before I list it. Uh, maybe $40, I'm not sure, but at least $35 for those two um, nightgown and robe set. Okay, on to some of the funds. I found some Athleta when I was out and about today and I also found some Prana. Some of the Athleta is coming up right now. So I found this top and I paid, I think I paid $4 for this top. It's an athletic top, it's a knit top in pretty good condition. And it's got kind of that, uh, oh, what do they call that? Ombre, where it's darker pink on the bottom and it goes into a lighter pink on the top. I paid $5 for this. So I'm gonna list this. I think it comped it out at like 30, 25, 30. Um, so we will do that. Again, paid $5. Okay, I have, I'm going to dive into these since they're kind of on the top, so I'm not spilling out everywhere. I paid a dollar for each of these. This is Tommy Hilfiger. It's a women's size 22, so it's larger sizes. In great condition, it's a button-down shirt, blue button-down shirt. I am picking up more Tommy Hilfiger. Um, I'm getting a lot of interest in them, so I'm going to keep picking them up, men's and women's. This is a great size shirt. Um... So I picked that up. Again, I paid a dollar. Okay, Carhartt. Do you all know how much I love to pick up Carhartt? I think it's just a great brand, depending on the piece and what it is. I found some women's scrub sets, the tops and bottoms. She was only asking a dollar for the entire set of there. I got two of them. And they are size, this one here is a size, I think the top has the size. They're much larger sizes. Okay, this is a 5X. For the ladies who have scrubs, need scrubs for um, whether it's working in a hospital or a doctor's office, this is a size 5X Carhartt scrubs. Um, the Carhartt scrubs for regular size were comping at around $25. So um, for the set here, for that size, I'll probably put these up at $30. Again, a dollar for the entire set. Same with this set, um, a 5X, just a different color. It's a pretty um, uh, a pink color, had the pants with it, drawstring, again, a dollar for the set. I am gonna wash them because they had a little bit of a, just a little bit of a powder dust on them, so I will clean those up. Okay, then I found, this was 50 cents. Um, it's kind of like a cami lace top. Um, it comes out at around $12 to $15. I paid 50 cents, so I will list this for around $12, $15. Okay, Winchester men's hats. I'm You guys know that I'm doing more on hats. <clears throat> we paid a dollar for this. It is um, distressed, never worn, great condition. Um, we'll probably put this up for about $15, $18, depending on the comps. Okay, and then I picked up, these also were only a dollar. It's the reason why, one of the reasons why I picked them up because they were only a dollar and they're great condition. I am trying to get more women's clothing in good used condition, not with the flaws and the stains and the pulls. When I run into those, I don't pick them up even in garage sales. I leave them there. If they're in great condition and they're one to three dollars, four dollars, something like that, I will pick them up for the ladies. This is locked size medium. Um, and Taylor, so this is, but this is just a nice women's career piece, I think, for the office, or if you work real estate, or just, you know, whatever, just a nice piece you could put with a suit, or pants, or even a, a great pair of jeans. Again, I paid a dollar, that's a size medium. Okay, same place, I found this skirt. Now, normally, I don't pick this brand up either, but I picked this up because of the kind of skirt that it is. This is White House Black Market, and I grabbed this because of the detail of this, and it's in really great condition. It's got studded detail all throughout this skirt. Another great career piece. If you work in an office, work real estate, or something like that, and you have to dress up, this is just a really great piece. Again, I only paid a dollar. It's got a tiny smudge back here, so I'm going to clean that up. 
Um, so yeah, grab that. And again, another piece. This one was also White House Black Market. A beautiful career piece. It's got the button detail up front. I paid a dollar for this skirt also. Really great condition. They're both lined, ready to go. So there's those. Okay, on to some more fun pieces. Okay, y'all know I like vineyard vines also, and I found a vineyard vines for women. I believe I paid $5 for this. It's a size 4 vineyard vines checkered, blue checkered women's shirt. So I'll list this for probably $20.25. So there's that piece. Okay, let's do these first, and I'll save the best for last. Feel the sport. This was new with tags. Um, I paid $1.50 for this. It's new with tags. It is a skort. So I got another skort. It's got the bottoms. Fila. I figure I'll probably put this up, depending on the comps, 15 to 20 for the, a brand new with tags skort. Okay, two more pieces, and then we'll move on to the other stuff. I've only got a few pieces left here. Eddie Bauer, I am picking up more Eddie Bauer because it is getting likes. This is a nice women's sweater and it was in great condition. Um, long sleeved for, for um, the season coming up. I believe I paid, I think I paid $3 for this. It's a size medium, but just a beautiful, nice blue knit sweater in good condition. So I grabbed that for the gals. And then I grabbed this one, I hesitated um, because she asked five dollars for it, but it's in really, really good condition. Barely used. So this is an Under Armour women's um, size medium um, pullover sweatshirt jacket. And again, she, I paid five dollars for this, but I do believe I can list this for probably thirty, um, something like that. It's in really, really great condition. Very, very minor wear, if any. Okay. I found Prana, size medium. I think I paid $4 for these, so Prana leggings. I will probably list these for around $25. It's got this uh, detail here. It's got kind of the ombre again. They're in good condition. I don't know if I showed you that. So yay on those. And then I've got some more Athleta. I was so thrilled to find this. At garage sales this one I paid three dollars for it's a racer back with a built no it's just a racer back purple top three dollars for this I'll probably list this for um, between 15 to 20 depending on the comps it's in good condition and then this one has a built-in uh, bra I paid four dollars for this one Again, Athleta, right? Yeah, Athleta. It's got this detail on the front, great condition. It's got pockets on the back. So I'll probably list this again, um, depending on comps, between 20 to 25, something like that. And then I found some Athleta women's shorts in great condition. I paid five for each of these. These were comping between 25 to 35, depending. So I will list them and see what they do. Again, I paid five. Great condition. Um, it's got the little buckle on the back. So I was so happy with those. And this one here. Oh, I didn't see that until just now. It's missing the back piece on the pocket. So I will have to note that. So um, again, Athleta Women's Shorts. Just pink color. I'm going to back up so you can see a little bit better. I get too close sometimes. I didn't see it until just now. It's actually missing the back button piece here. So I'll probably list these for like 15 to 18 because of that. Um, it does have the shorts on the bottom. So found some Athleta. We found some Prana. And we, oh, oh, I can't believe I almost missed it. One of my favorite pieces that we picked up too was this Michael Kors. 100%. It's, it's lamb blend. I paid $5 for this. It's a lamb, lamb's wool sweater. This sweater has absolutely no wear and it's just absolutely beautiful. It's got this beautiful um, stitching detail here um, throughout. Does that have a hole? Or is that part of the... No, I'm pretty sure that that's... 
That's part of the detail. Yep. Okay. I was going to say, please don't tell me that's a hole. Nope. It's part of the detail of it. Okay. Whew. <laughs> um, because this is a beautiful piece. This is um, Michael Kors. Let me show you. If I can get this out. So Michael Kors, size small. And this is just a beautiful, very, very warm, gorgeous sweater. Um, lamb's wool. I believe it was lamb's alpaca blend. So I picked that up for $5 for the gals. Super great condition. It looks like it, if it's been worn, barely used. So that was what we got in the haul today. Again, I'm super excited about picking Finding Athleta, some Prana, a great lamb's wool Michael Kors sweater. So really excited about that. Y'all know we have more boxes coming. I'm anxiously awaiting. I've got multiple boxes coming in. We've got, um, I was going to order another men's the other day, but they were actually unavailable because they were running a sale on them. Um, I've got more women's coming in, new with tags coming in. Super excited about all that. So stay tuned for that. Um, I do have a little small unboxing, but I chose, I did an unboxing, but because of the items in it, it's a small video. So I'm probably going to do a short with that. So stay tuned for a small, short, little unboxing coming up very soon the next day or two on top of the video I'm going to be posting probably today. Super excited about that. I've got a men's box I'm going to be posting probably this weekend. This is Friday. So um, maybe Sunday I'll post that. I'm just going to get them ready to go Sunday or Monday. Um, got a lot of great new um, activity going on on YouTube. Very excited about that. I am going to try and post a little bit of the journey today of finding stuff as well as screenshots for y'all. Again, if you have not yet subscribed to know when we're doing all this content, please do so. If seeing where what I got today was a blessing to you, please do give this a video a thumbs up. It really helps our channel out. And guys, until next time, we'll see you then.